D9. So that's the slang that's used on campuses. D9, no one says Divine 9. I mean, some people use it, but D9 is basically the black sororities and fraternities. Stampede fam. So D9, it stands for the National Pan Hellenic Council. The NPHC. And they was founded at Howard University in Washington, D.C. on May 10th, 1930, and incorporated under the laws of Illinois in 1937. 1937, people. Shame on you, shame on you. Y'all been in existence since 1937. So why I say shame on you? It's because y'all been in existence since 1937. Yet the black communities, AKA ghettos, remain the same. The founders of the D9 are Delta Sigma Theta, Zeta Phi Beta, Sigma Gamma Rho, Omega Phi Psi, Kappa Alpha Psi, Alpha Phi Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Phi Beta Sigma, and Loda Phi Theta. Y'all had 88 years, people. 88 years to work on this. It's supposed to be the smartest and the brightest. And y'all been a unified family for 88 years. All right, Stampede family, let's speak on it. So I was born and bred in that hood, like straight ghetto. And I ain't one of them dudes that try to make that seem like that's something to be proud of. Like, it's filthy, it's disgusting. But here's my thing, when I saw kids that was trying to get educated, trying to do right, you know, in the books. Yo, I had people back up off them. Because see, them the ones that's the prey. They fool any person who trying to get a reputation for themselves, and they really ain't about going against somebody that's really on that level. Them the ones they target. The ones that ain't out there trying to be in them streets like that. And they go and just wash them, do the worst to them. And then walk away from them like, yeah, see that? Yeah, that's what I'm about. When really any one of the real ones know you just did that trying to scare other people. Because if you're really about that, then you would have stepped to somebody on that same level. But see, it's plenty of us who really was about that. And we would protect them so they could get that education. So they could get up out the hood. So they can make a difference. They could then come back and start cleaning up some of the mess. Start opening corporations. Start making life better in these ghettos. You got people who protect them. People who go against the grain. And they go against the grain, against their own peoples, for somebody who don't even know them. But it's just something in us to say, yo, we out here doing all this dirt. We can at least do something right. Do something to make a difference. Change gotta start somewhere. So if this little act right here gonna push it in that direction, then so be it. It's whatever. Now here go my problem. I came across these three letters G D I, and it's a shame. It's filthy because now I see y'all different. And that we protecting these kids so they can make it up out of the ghetto and they could get in college and they could get that education and then come back and make a difference because the people who in office that's supposed to make a difference ain't doing it. But the reality is these three letters GDI paints a different picture. So what's a GDI? Well, 
once these kids get up in college and they join these fraternities and sororities and all this, now we become the GDI, which is a goddamn independent. I meant individual. Currently, if you're not in a sorority, you're a GDI. So when you hear GDI, it just means goddamn individual. So that means that you're a solo person. You're not part of an organization. You're not part of a sorority or fraternity. So if someone calls you a GDI, I mean, it really depends on what tone they use. It can be insulting if someone's like, oh my God, get out of my face. You're such a GDI or look at that GDI. You know what I mean? It can be an insult, but it can also be just a descriptive term to let people know that you're not in an organization so they'll be like oh he's a gdi or she's a gdi so that's just what that term means gdi means goddamn individual so you see this is why nothing has changed because the minute they get in that world they forget where they come from and now they looking at us as gdis instead of realizing if it wasn't for us, the communities and the people, even the ones who doing wrong, having they back when they don't even know we have they back. And anybody from the hood know how many of y'all seen somebody about to be a victim, but you knew they was a good person and they trying to do something with themselves. They like, yo, fall back, leave them alone. No, no, nah, don't mess with them. You about to do something with yourself. So shame on you fraternities and sorority because y'all had us fooled for a long time. I'm thinking that y'all just out here trying to figure it out to make our communities better but instead y'all getting out there and then looking down on us when well, we should have just been letting y'all get washed let y'all fall victims to it too but y'all ain't see that y'all ain't see the many times y'all was about to get robbed y'all ain't see the many times somebody was just about to just come and snuff you for no reason y'all ain't see that Y'all think y'all just escaped the hood unscathed, undamaged. But the beauty is, we know that. We know. Y'all turn y'all backs on us. Y'all look down on us. And it's okay. It's good. Y'all keep doing what y'all do. And then we ain't gonna talk how y'all elevate. Because the ones that's first joining don't even may not know. But there's levels to everything. And then y'all elevate. And next thing you know, y'all on a level where now y'all uncall yourselves boule. And that's another whole level that I'm not even going to get into. But this to all my ghetto people in the struggle. Just understand now. This is why nothing changes. Because we were fooled into believing that these kids are the future to change what's happening. But now we know they're not. And the receipts are here to show. How can you look at the people that protected you and now you calling them GDI and turning your nose up? Y'all been taking a little journey through my hood where I was born and bred. So I want you to imagine you this nerdy kid, you into your books, and you trying to go home, and you gotta go through this. You think you built like that when you just doing it on your own? That every individual on every corner, nobody seeing you as food? Nobody running up on you? You think that you that built like that? You think that? No, you're not. Believe that. But it's always somebody in the crowd saying, nah, let them eat. Let them live. Y'all don't know that, like I said earlier. Picture it. It's, it's despicable. It's just despicable. And this just the facts over feelings. That's just what it is. So don't sit there and start feeling the pain in your chest. Now you want to get all vocal and defend something. It's just what it is. Like I said, we see it now. I mean, it ain't too late for y'all to make a difference and make a change. Trust me, we got to see it to believe it. In the 88 years of y'all existence, how many corporations y'all bought 
in the vicinity of these ghettos so that the people there in those ghettos can go get those jobs and then be able to move out and if not move out then clean up I mean that's simple it's just like that 88 years of y'all being a brotherhood mighty mighty brotherhoods as y'all claim that fame and that title but where's the corporations where's the unified front to be able to work together to build these corporations outside of these ghettos so that these people could have jobs hmm? that's all I'm saying Look.